Hello and welcome to the Jaren 134 video. And in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at TeamViewer, the touch version for Windows 8. When you get into the Windows Store, TeamViewer Touch is this. You are able to use TeamViewer in the Windows 8 start screen style. Now I'm going to go ahead and give you a look at TeamViewer Touch, and I have already installed it, so we're going to skip to the part where enter your partner's ID in order to control the remote computer. So we're going to enter. Now I'm going to give you a look at my Mac and show it to you from my Windows computer. So here we go. 819 space 92 six space two seven one and then the password I'm not going to tell you what it is because it shows up as dots so that way you don't hack my computer now here we go team viewer is allowing me to take a look at my Mac on my Windows computer I am able to see everything that is going on on my Mac. You have the ability to do webcam, place a call, talk on the headset, or do text chat as you see it opened up there. You are able to close, oops, I closed off a of TeamViewer, my bad, because I never used TeamViewer Touch before. You are able to control the computer in question and do any of the tasks that you would like to do. Team Viewer runs a tad slow, probably because I have the screen capture recording in progress. But you are able to do Windows 8 functions, bring up the um, charms menu bar at the bottom and look at keyboard if you need to type well it didn't work uh that must be a feature that is in progress because the keyboard didn't appear and i don't know why probably because i'm controlling a mac maybe i don't know but you were able to control the mac as if you were on it and you have no problems whatsoever doing so and you get the ability to basically do this. I don't see the ability to, let's see if you have that. No, I don't believe you do. In this version, compared to the desktop form of TeamViewer, I don't believe you get the ability to, let's see, I don't believe you get the ability to transfer files between computers. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. No, 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 it doesn't look like. So basically, as you can see, it's a fast, fluid, and easy way to add. There is a delay. I will say that much. There is a slight delay that I can see between computers. But it's no big deal. So you're able to control the computer quickly and easily from TeamViewer Touch. It's a lot faster. Being on Windows 8 and using TeamViewer Touch compared to using the desktop version, I feel like I've gotten onto the other computer and I've gotten into controlling it a lot faster than when I've used the desktop version. So if you're looking for a fast way to access another computer and help someone with things that are going on on their system, then you should try TeamViewer Touch. And I'm now going to close TeamViewer Touch. Let's see. X, you have now stopped using Team Viewer Touch. As you can see, when Team Viewer Touch closes, it says sponsored session. This was a free sponsored session by TeamViewer.com. Team Viewer sessions are free of charge for personal use. We thank you for playing fair. Like, buy a license. The only reason that you would buy a license is because if you are a business person, you would want to purchase a license to be able to do massive PC controlling versus just doing one computer between another to help someone. 
So in short, this has been a Jeremy 134 video. Click that subscribe button if you liked this video. Click like if you liked this video and thought that it was helpful or whatever. And I'm Jaren134, and you have a lovely day.